the situation is not easy. Uh, after the uh, Lofa Foya uh, second wave, there was on uh, 12 of June another ep epidemic in, uh, in uh, Moravia. The same epidemic spread in Moravia, Monterado County. Uh, the, some two weeks ago, the situation has uh, deteriorated with uh, four uh, more counties affected. Now in total we have six counties that have reported cases and uh, the, there is another one we have a suspected case which is the reverses. But the major problem we should mention here is that we are facing a cross-border epidemic affecting three countries. So it's not about a Liberian epidemic only. And the second issue is that we have uh, uh, an epidemic for the first time affecting the capital cities. And that makes the situation very difficult to control. In addition to that, we have uh, a problem of uh, denial from the population and uh, also traditional uh, burial practices and funeral rites, which expose, highly expose people to uh, uh, contaminate uh, uh, themselves and they get Ebola virus disease. And they know that when we are talking about traditions, it's not easy to control. The last point is that in Africa, when uh, we have uh, s something killing quickly, suddenly, people believe usually that this is about uh, witchcraft, about uh, spiritual issues. Uh, in West Africa, we talk about the juju, and that makes the situation not easy. There is another point I, I forgot, is, which is very unusual. The suspected cases and contacts run away and they hide from the health workers who are uh, doing contact tracing, case finding, and that makes also the situation not easy. It's very unusual. Usually in the previous epidemic, we, don't, we did not experience such, such situation. Yes, the WHO is... Uh, actively supporting the government of Liberia, Minister of Health and Social Welfare, in responding to this epidemic. In the first wave, as, as I said, we had a, a team stationed for one month in a foyer, Lofa County, and that helped to control the epidemic. Uh, today, we are involved in the coordination uh, area, in the epidemiological surveillance, contact tracing, we're also involved in the case management, specifically on infection prevention control, training the health workers to be aware about this problem. And uh, as I also forgot to mention that there are so many health workers infected in this epidemic. So we are uh, uh, training, sensitizing them, training them, and uh, those who have been trained, we have to refresh their uh, skills so that they know about it and they remain aware. We are also supporting social mobilization. We have a communication team here from, uh, from this second wave from uh, headquarters. I should mention that we are also responsible for coordinating other partners for the response. Yes, we need uh, to increase uh, human resource capacity because originally we had only two counties affected. That's the Lofa and the Monserrado, with one case or two in the Margibi, and we are coping with that. But now we have six counties affected in the area of uh, epidemic surveillance to make sure that contact tracing a follow-up, the information is uh, shared on time and the, and the flow uh, appropriately and shared with partners. Uh, we need to uh, make sure that all the cases that are uh, uh, reported are put under treatment center, followed up uh, appropriately to in increase ch chances of survivors, survival. We need also to have uh, a, in, enough uh, social mobilization, especially those who are doing interpersonal communication. 
and some having even some good negotiation skills and have anthropologists to interpret this kind of reaction from uh, population where people run away from, uh, from the communities, move from their homes, going somewhere else. So we need more uh, expertise. We need also, of course, additional financial resources to make sure that the operation is well conducted. People go on time and where the problem is, having a fuel and some uh, facilitation in terms of DSA. Uh, what we need is to increase um, uh, the disinfectant, chlorine, and uh, also uh, uh, we need to to order for more uh, PPs. But I received a message today that headquarters want to send us additional PPs. Uh, the, those are uh, basically the thing we, we need. But uh, it's also important to, to improve preparedness in the non-affected counties. And for that, we need to, uh, to provide more uh, information, more flyers, sending an advanced team to, to make sure the information is there and avoid uh, those counties to be uh, affected by the Ebola epidemic.